Now let's talk a little bit about IP. First and foremost, I am not an attorney and I'm not giving legal advice. I just can't do that. I'll talk a little bit about my own personal philosophy, which is kind of a hybrid open source to what the current state of the patent system is out there. So first of all, open versus closed source. The Arduino platform is open source. Everything you need to build this board, program the board and the code is available online as are thousands and thousands of other bits of code available. And if you're going to use this code normally and check the license, but normally you would need to share your code, give attribution to who created it, et cetera, et cetera. Check the uh, Creative Commons license whenever you're using someone else's code. Now let's talk a little bit about IP. Typically we're talking about trade secrets, patents, trademarks, copyrights. Now, even in the open source community, we still file a lot of trademarks and copyrights. We want to protect the name. We want to protect the logo mark. We want to protect those kind of things when it comes to our business and our products. But we don't necessarily protect is the board files and the software and the things that would enable somebody else to most importantly learn. Um, and second of all, create their own product based on yours. And why do we do that? Well, the reality is in the open source world, if you're going to market and mass producing, just by creating in volume typically makes it so much less expensive than someone who wants to create one or two that making it open source really doesn't hurt your business model. But what it does is it allows others to learn from the things that you've done and it just grows the community. It's a, it's a pretty interesting business model. It can work. Companies like Adafruit are almost entirely open source and they've done phenomenally well. Another thing to talk about are patents. Now, most people do believe that the patent system's kind of broken and for many, many reasons. If you're looking at getting a patent, you absolutely should talk to an attorney. The most common mistake people have when it comes to patents is thinking that a patent protects you. It absolutely does not. That's not even how the patent office defines a patent. A patent excludes others from making and selling a similar product. So that's critical to understanding patents. Patents will not protect you. They allow you to bring legal action against somebody else who's doing something similar. You should understand that if you're going to patent something, you typically can't use open source code or boards because again, that would violate the Creative Commons license with it. And it's only as good as you're able to protect. Now for myself, the reason I didn't pursue patents was I, I do like open source and by the time I pay an attorney to write a patent and the year or two or more that it takes to get and the $20,000 that I've spent, I've already moved on to the next product. Electronics move so fast that by, by the time somebody knocks me off, I'm already making version two and I'm, I'm a year ahead.